When we return from the TV world, an oddly mundane world is waiting for us. As we stand around in the quiet town at Junes before it opens, Yusuke looks around at the eyebrow rising outfit of the shadow operative. I think I'll not tell anyone about him siding. Thank goodness we came out at this hour. Then again, I'm at a loss for what we to do when we go to Yasugami High close to the holiday. Close for the holiday. To see Mitsuru sign off, and a pitch black military helicopter lands on the ground. After seeing them all off, we return to the empty, pre down food court and take our usual seats. <sighs> Sitting here makes it feel like I'm really back. <laughs> Indeed. It seems that for now the case is closed. Man, that guy sure gave us some grief. Wasn't the world on the brink of ending? Mm-hmm. Although, I felt a bit sorry for him. Huh? For who? You can't even figure that out? She's talking about how Sho probably didn't want to turn out that way. Yeah, he's a really clumsy kid. Ha! <laughs> I keep thinking about how similar I was, you know? According to Mitsuru-san, ever since Ikutsuki abandoned Sho, he was left for dead in the hospital's care. I surmise that is where he learned of Ikutsuki's death, and later heard this plan's proposal from Minazuki. That reminds me! That thing that showed up at the end! Hino Kagutsuchi, right? What was that thing, really? Yeah. It said it was born when this town was enshrouded in fog. Hmm. And that's not all. It was all over my fuzzy head, but what was that collective will of so-and-so part about? I guess it was formed from the hearts of people who only think about themselves, never caring what happens to others. Yeah. When the fog covered this town last time, the hearts of people who only cared about their own safety gathered and formed that Hino Kagutsuchi. That's a sad way to be. I wonder why some people think like that. Well, there's nothing we can do about it except to do our best. By the way, partner. Yeah? Did you see Adachi up there? What happened to him in the end? No way! Adachi-san?! That bastard was here?! Well, yeah, I didn't tell everyone yet. By the time I turned around after defeating Hino Kagutsuki, Adachi-san was already nowhere to be seen, but... Don't worry about him. He'll obey the rules. No one asked any more questions after that. None of us say as much, but there's a strange kind of trust we have about Adachi's son, who told us that he obeyed the rules of this world. And, in this case, at least Adachi's son was true to his word. Alright then, let's go home! But man, some long holiday this turned out to be. Seriously, you kun came to visit and we didn't get to talk at all! <sighs> oh well, but now that it's all over, I think I had fun. Chana, you turn to violence? Yeah. Mm. Thinking back on it, I did see some dangerously scary faces from you. Teddy, would you like to see me angry? Ah, there, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I somewhat understand what Yukiko Senpai means. Despite the lost time, we've gathered as a group again. I'm glad for that much. We all silently nod in agreement to this. Once the day is over, we'll turn to our normal life and walk our own path. Even then, someday, no matter when it may be. Yosuke Senpai, I'm hungry. Can we go grab a bite yet? <laughs> oh, meat sounds great right now! You'll scale treat, of course. <laughs> I'm not treating anyone! The store's not even open! Stop trying to make me treat you guys every time! <sighs> Things really haven't changed at all. Oh, Senpai, look! I look to where Risa is pointing and see the sun starting to rise from far beyond the town. The thick thunder clouds that had covered Inaba yesterday seems to have disappeared along with the fog. Let's go, everyone. It's going to be some nice weather in Inaba today. This is the happy look, only if you use uh, the two. Okay. 
you, you know, a choice here. It's gonna be defeated. <laughs> 